Hi guys, what's up? It's Matt from MyCrazyProductions.com and this is Throwback Thursday. Now I'm sure most people don't even realize that My Crazy Productions has been around since 2009. Well, there's a reason for that. I mean, I was a kid, created some videos on the internet, not all of them were good. But we do have a lot of videos left in the vault. So every so often on Thursdays, we're going to be releasing old videos that I used to produce for the website. So, to start it off, today is June 25th, and we're going to be, I'm going to re-release the two best episodes of Retro Gamer, a show I used to do back when I, on Screw Attack. The first episode, which is Moonwalker for the Sega Master System, and the last episode, which is Moonwalker for the Sega Genesis. Here are the videos. Hey guys, I'm the Retro Gamer with my Michael Jackson a thon. Yeah. And I'm here to review Moonwalker for the Sega Master System. Now, most of you probably don't even know that there's a port for the Sega Master System. You probably just know about the Sega Genesis version. Hence, since AVGN reviewed it about two last year actually. But here it is. Let's pop this game in. Start playing. Whoa. 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 Whoa, what's happening? What? What's happening? Whoa, I'm not close. My voice. It's true. All the urban legends are true. When you play Michael Jackson's Moonwalker, you turn into Michael Jackson. Sweet. Now let's play this game. I can tell you how the game starts. You start off as Michael Jackson flicking a quarter into a jukebox. You're wearing your smooth criminal, cr smooth, smooth criminal outfit and listening to Smooth Criminal. Now it's a decent 8-bit re rendition. But when the corner flies in, it sounds a little weird. But you know what? It's a Sega Master System game. They weren't as good as Nintendo. In most cases. Now, another problem with it is, I don't know what to do. But, I guess if I look at the back of the box, it tells me I have to save little kids. Come here, little kitties. Come here. There you are, behind the door. There, I'll save you, I'll save you. Now the point of the game is to get all the little kitties in each level while avoiding most of the guys. You can fight them, but I wouldn't suggest it. I'd try any way to go around it, which is sort of impossible. Because the hit detection is a little weird. You'd be right up against them to hit them. And that's really annoying because in most cases, they hit you first. Ah, oh, so annoying. So annoying. You're probably wondering, what happens when you capture all the kids? Well. You go to the boss, right? Yeah, but the boss just says you'll never catch me. Wow. What a bee. Alright, so you can't catch him, so he sends like 10, 15 guys after you. Now the problem with it is, you can't hit him. It's not impossible. You gotta duck, because they all have projectiles. You have to duck under it and hit him. But sometimes when you're getting hit, you can't turn backwards. And the controller I got has problems going backwards. I guess you could play my controller instead and not the game. Alright, but let me tell you the good parts of this game. One, you can moonwalk. Yeah, you can moonwalk. Yay! Another one is it's pretty it's a pretty good soundtrack. All Michael Jackson. The way I like it. Next, you're Michael Jackson! What else can you want? Now the one thing I do want, though, is a counter to tell you how many kids you have to get left. Instead of just walking through the level without even knowing. Walking, 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 walking. Moonwalk! Now, this is a rather short review, but I could just say this. It's a really okay game, but I'd only... It's only for the nerds. Like me. On the inside. Right now, I'm Michael Jackson. 
but on the inside, if you're a nerd or collector of all my, of all these Smash System games, get it. But it's really expensive right now. On Amazon.com, it's around seventy to ninety dollars, complete in box. But I got mine on eBay for around fifty dollars. Now, let's end this review here with it's okay, but it's just okay. I don't know what else to say about it. I'd like to say more. But unfortunately, it's not that good of a game. I hate to say that, Michael Jackson. But it's not that good. But to save it, the ma it was on the Master System. Now, if they put equally as much time into the Nintendo console, it would probably came out a little bit better. Because that's usually how it went. But you know what? Let me turn off this game because it's pretty bad. But you can join me and Michael Jackson next year when we review. Moonwalker for the Sega Genesis. See ya. Whoa, now this is better. All right, now let me tell you my opinion on Michael Jackson being dead for a year. Now I'm not gonna get into anything so big, but I don't even feel like he's dead anymore. We've celebrated him so much over the year that we have him practically the last decade and I don't know we've celebrated more because they almost every magazine for the first month since it was de since his death came out with headlines Michael Jackson is dead and posters he has sold more now than he did when he was alive and after that movie this is it one of the best movies of all time may I add it, it proves they still got it and he's still the king of pop and he's still the best artist of all time now, I'm going to end this here without getting all preachy, but Michael Jackson still rules. He always will. And rest in peace, Michael Joe Jackson. I'll see you guys tomorrow with elevator action. Comparing it to the Genesis version, which isn't fair for an 8-bit game. And, uh, well, I actually just kind of like it. So, yeah. Right. Now that that's done with, let's pop in the Genesis version. Wait. This is... Why, why didn't I transform like last time? Now the beginning of this game starts in the bar scene the movie. Michael Jackson flips a coin into a jukebox and Smooth Criminal comes on. Which is one of the best ways to start this game with one of Michael's best songs ever made. Now in my opinion, Smooth Criminal is the best music video done by Michael Jackson. And it's really great that they start the game here. Now, not to sound like a Genesis hater, but not a lot of songs sounded good on the Genesis. I'm glad that of all the games in the world on the Genesis, this is one of the few good ones. This game is pretty easy. Anyone could pick it up and play. You can also do a bunch of cool moves in the game, like Moonwalk, spin that tippy toe thing throw the hat and a special move that kills everyone on the screen damn that's one badass move the only problem with that move is it takes half your energy so you want to conserve it for the really important moments now you may be wondering what's the goal of the game well the goal of the game is to get all the kids on the stage you actually have a kid meter to check how many kids you still have to get and let me tell you now check everywhere because you have no idea where the kids will be and I mean everywhere literally everywhere now some of these stages are unique some of them I don't even remember from the movie which is actually pretty good because if they stuck completely to the script we would have a claymation Michael Jackson bunny everywhere yeah it's good they kept that out now at the end of every stage you have a guy who taunts you and either sends a horde of men or a boss the first couple stages are pretty easy, but later on in the game, it gets pretty difficult. Like the stage where there's bombs in the car, in the graveyard, also, it gets really hard with the zombies. And plus, the stages stop getting linear and gets more, like, open. That's really all I have to say about this game. It's a really good Genesis game, and if you could get it for cheap, it would be definitely worth the pickup. Oh wait, there's one more thing. There is a power up in this game that can make you turn into a robot, and it's actually pretty cool, so let's get it. Whoa, whoa, what's happening? This isn't supposed to happen now. The end of the review.
Ugh. What the f What the What? I gotta save the universe? Sh well Guess I gotta do what I gotta do. Well, bye guys. Whoa, 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 where are you going? I have to go save the universe. What? Wh why? I don't know. You wrote the script. I gotta go now. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Just... What about the modern gamer? Is he going with you too? Yes, I am. Well, will I ever see you again? Maybe. But I'm done with the reviews. I gotta go save the universe. Well, bye. Bye. for watching the video make sure you like subscribe check us out on facebook twitter instagram all that down below in the description um also check out our 24-hour charity stream it's going to happen this weekend june 27th 2015 3 p.m eastern standard time all the way to the 28th which is the anniversary of my crazy productions thanks guys for watching see you next time